Well, we're going in reverse today. The boot barn is now back out of the bus, disconnected from his wires. And Mike is unscrewing the couch from the floor. Wait! We can't put the washer in yet. I haven't painted that yet. I'm going to paint that whole enclosure. Let's go buy paint. Guess what? I've got my painting clothes on today. Now's your last chance to guess what color I'm going to be painting in You'll the never bathroom. Guess. You'll never ever guess. Ew, I don't even like how this color looks when it's wet. I hope I like it when it's dry. It seems it weird. It looks really blue. <laughs> it it looks, looks like sky blue. Shocking. Yes. Yeah, it looks shocking. Yeah, I don't, it's not. I hope it's different when it dries. Otherwise, I'm going to be going back for another color. It's weird. <laughs> I love this brush. Big and chubby. Took a lay down some paint, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't mess around. Whoops. I was <laughs> drunk painting right there. <laughs> Swerved. Woo! Paint up, paint it down. I just made that up. What does it really say in the movie when he's painting? I'm not sure. This color is crazy. Who picked this? <laughs> These are the high risk leakage areas. There's not going to ever be a leak. <laughs> you say that now. I mean it. Painting left handed is a whole new challenge. It is. That's how you have to block old cry kids punches though. That's right. Ho, 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 ho. See, I've got the moves already. Miyagi would say to me, you paint uh, like a girl. <laughs> Whoops. Look what I just did. Ah, fail. Huge fail. I told you not to do that, and she failed. Look, everyone want to see? Major fail. No, you told me a lot to splatter paint. You didn't say anything about just jabbing my paintbrush right onto the ceiling. <laughs> I'm sure everything I said covered, don't paint the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never come off. Ever. I cut it off. <laughs> Kitty. Thank goodness it was a metal ceiling. If that had been wood, uh, uh, it would have been not the same result. It's all wet with paint. It's not even rolling right there. It's just spreading. I don't know how to paint. I don't know the painting rules. So this is the shelf for the laundry area and Mike's just using wipe on poly to waterproof this surface. Right. Must be very nice. Oh, look at that, it's black. Oh. Uh oh, don't splatter this on the counter. <sighs> the only thing I do know that every time I've done this, it's stuck really well, so. Yeah. Wow, that is some shocking blue right there. Shocking. It is kind of appalling, really. I like it. You do? Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. There we go. Well done, my friend. Well done. I'll pat you on your back any day. Thank you for patting me on the back. <laughs> Look what's next. Fancy. Phenomenal. Uh, that is the washer. Wow, I'll check that shoot. again. Shoot. We totally Pretty forgot. Exciting, huh? Huh? That was very exciting. Was that just from forgetting to turn it off before you cut it? Yeah. Yikes. Very scary. But everything's still fine? Yep. Everything's still fine. But that, uh, it's not the first time it's happened to me. So. <laughs> just it's, got, just, it's very shocking every time it happens. Well, but it's not I the first should time. say so. <laughs> it's not the first time. Holy smoke. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Look at that. that was a lot less eventful. Look what it did right there. That's a cutting surface right there. Oh my gosh, it blasted a chunk out of it? Mm -hmm. That's how hot it gets. Immediately. Wow. So. Dang, that was scary. I'm glad you're okay, my honey. Thank you, me too. <laughs> I need you. Just as I cut into it, I like just was thinking about it. Like it was strangely... Coming to your mind right at the moment you Right were doing then, it. yeah. Wow. So what is this kind of plug called? Uh, GFI, ground, fr ground fault interrupt. If there's a, a problem, these are like much quicker to react to it than the ones on the breaker panel, as seen. Like we literally short circuited the breaker panel and they didn't, it didn't throw. Oh, really? Yeah, it takes a little second for everything to get hot enough to go, something's wrong. Oh. Yeah. So it's just because it happens so fast with just that one snip that it yeah. didn't blow it? Yeah. That's crazy. That was pretty crazy. Okay, so then this one, the GFI, is what you're supposed to use if it's around water and could get wet. Mm -hmm. That's why you're putting it behind the washer. Yes, that's exactly why. Yeah, that sucker was 20 bucks, you guys. 20 bucks for one little plug thingy it was like 18 something but 20 over 20 with tax usually those things are like we bought a 10 pack for less than that <laughs> yeah, no of the non-gfi type okay so we can plug this in now make sure get a green nope oh, nothing uh-oh Did I not? Oh. There. Now you got it. Okay. okay. I really think we need to go up this direction. Whoa. Okay. Wow, the fact that we actually got to this point <laughs> in the build, that's kind of cool. I know. We're moving something into the bus. This is actually very monumental. This is, we're moving the washing machine into the bus, which means I'm gonna have to come out here to do laundry now. Hopefully for the next, just uh, Short, a short month. period of time, short period of time. Okay, um, well, let's see if we can scoot it upwards. This front edge is sharp. 
And so if we push on top, it's just we're gonna try top it. So we, kinda... Maybe we should have turned it around and gone in back first. <gasps> we have to turn it around and go in back first. We can't think about it all the way down oh. the hall and in. It has to go back first. We can't turn it around once yeah, it gets in. You're right about that. Okay. Woo. I thought about that. that I be... know, huh? Of course. <laughs> that that would have sucked so bad. Just trying to budget up. Yeah. Except I can't make it as much as you can. here, which I don't see that being that difficult, especially if we're using a hand truck. That's cool and everything, but we don't have anything to off with it over here, so we can just push on one side. So now one person's trying to balance this bowling ball on one foot. What can we put over there to exactly. prop it up on? Bricks? So if we could put something over here to prop it up on, like bricks? possibly bricks. I think two bricks stacked up might be not equally as high, but yeah. close. But maybe we should spread open that drop cloth so whatever we set down. Yeah, goes. I agree. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, we have to get it up here and then this way so we can start. The budge. Yeah, the budge. Yeah, you're going to just circle through here with these guys. Probably gonna cry. Oh, wait, let me put the towel or something on this corner. And this is where I have to like lift it up to an upright position. I'm starting to think the bricks might not be such a bad idea after all. Because it would give us. All right, can you hold this thing over? Uh -uh. Nope. <laughs> I wasn't there yet. All right. Um, 
Which part do I hold? Just the bottom of it? I just don't want it to move. Oh, I found something to gain purchase. Okay, what are you doing? Don't what lift do it do? too much because it'll come over this one. That'll okay, you're going to get bricks. So just stay right there. And we'll get a couple bricks. Okay, I got this. Uh, right. And it's on the other side, correct? It's right, yeah, right down here. It's already underneath this thing? Yeah. Just gonna let it go. I don't think there is a let go here. I have to tilt this thing up onto everything. If it's not even with that side right there, with that side, mm -hmm. then it'll tilt a little bit. So it has to be kind of even with those bricks. Where are we at? Um, Where I... the feet are touching on the platform and the feet are gonna be touching those bricks. Yeah, but are you wanting me to shove the bricks up underneath it right I want now? the bricks to be even this way with that, with the platform. Yeah. And I want it to be exactly as high. Oh, I can't. It's not exactly as high. Okay, how far away are we? Four or five inches. Okay, so I'll maybe we get some wood. Okay, I got this. Okay. Boy, this is much easier than passing the bricks. Over there. That's it. Yeah, I just hope they don't just slide out of the way when you start pushing it. Okay. What are we gonna do? I'm now? gonna push this towards so this is they're even now? Mm -hmm. Feet are touching on both sides basically? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! What do I do? <laughs> the problem is this thing's Choking you. Pull that towards you. Okay, you're doing good. Don't stop yet. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay, walk it back. Look, is there room to walk? Yeah. Just little steps. Yeah, just keep them little like that and you'll stay on the You're board. not going to go off the bricks, are you? I'm not. I'm watching it. We need to move that whole that side to the right. We just need to get one inch farther my way. Walk this one inch farther away, my way. So now, see? Can you get past? No. Okay, oh, now. I knocked off the piece of tile. That's okay. Those can glue back on. Okay, now I'm sliding the wood around. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm losing my way. Okay. That's right, that's right. Okay, hold on, because I can set it down on this leg. Oh, hell's that? We're almost there. Uh, I can't believe we're doing this! <laughs> hold stop. Push that wood in. There we go, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's almost there. Okay. Oh, hold on, go, go, go. This side's about to come off the brick. What? We're not putting it's this going your shelf thingies. It will. Uh-uh. Oh my god. We're not putting this your shelf thingies. Hold on. It's blowing the wall out. Okay. Okay, I can hold this. Hold on. Get the driver and let's take that one off. I pray this is the only mistake I made. Let me just say that. Me too. <laughs> Destroying our beautiful laundry walls. The destruction is real. My arm's not long enough to go back right down. There. You're this is not going to go in unless we get that screwdriver. So, because I don't think I can get a screwdriver in there if we don't.
So, hold on. I'm gonna tilt this back, okay? And then you reach inside there and pull that stuff from around the back legs. Go. Okay, now I'm gonna tilt it. Okay. I think that's it right there. What? That's how, oh my God, that comes out way farther than I thought. Look at the feet, they're not even, oh, they're barely. They're on there. Wow, that really sticks out there, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm so sad about our shell. I mean, looking at it now, it looks like it should work. It will. Oh, we'll, we'll fix it. Oh. Whew! Have washing machine, will travel. Man, that was a beast. Yeah, I can't believe you got that. Obviously, you did the lion's share of the work <laughs> on that. All right, let me get the hoses and stuff. Okay. So obviously, so obviously, we decided to keep our full size washing machine from inside our house. We thought there's no reason to get rid of this one and get a new, smaller one. We weren't going to go with one of those that does the wash and dry all in the same cycle because they take so long and you have to do such a small load. We decided we'd just rather be able to do a full size load of laundry and then hang it out to dry because we live in Arizona and solar power is free. Oh, this is gonna really suck. So after all that meticulous painting yesterday, we had to rip off the little thingies that were gonna hold the shelf up here. I guess we'll have to put them back either a little bit higher or make them thinner to put them back. I don't know, whatever Mike's plan is gonna be. Yeah, a little bit higher. Okay. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Okay, so this gotta go down. Into that pipe. You yeah. want me to crawl up there and do it? I'm smaller. I was gonna, I, I know it'll make it, but I just wonder if I should trim some of this pipe back to make it so we can do this easily. Like there's just too much there. It's in. Got it? Okay. I'm taking my watch off for this, that's for sure. Just didn't know you were gonna have to do surgery. I might need your little arms. I can't get my hand any further in there because the washing machine's too far back. Either that or we need to pull the washing machine out more and then shove it back in again. Yeah. We only have an inch, two inches to move. We can move it. Yeah, so. I'm taking a look at the foot right now. Gosh, there's nothing for me to hang on to, though, to... There, that should do it. Yeah, that definitely did help. Oh, nice. Got it. There it is. Okay. We have power. So that one's hooked up. Okay, so the water hoses. Oh. Have the same problem. Rapid wash. No delay. Temperature, we should always just do warm. If you do extra hot, then it's heating up water and then it'll really draw a lot of power. So a light spin, I don't care. I guess let's go. Well, it's good because that thing didn't make a lot of noise. So far, so good. Where's the water? <laughs> Send down the water. There's the water. Why am I stressing out right now? Because of the possibility for leaks? Yeah. That's the drain working over there. There's water in there now. I'd say you successfully installed the washing machine. Yeah, so far. It's working so far. I don't hear any water spraying out from behind it. Are you sure? What's that sound? Right. <laughs> Let's try. My fear is what's going to be like when this thing goes in the spin. <laughs> It's gonna be exciting. 
I just switched everything over to solar right now. So this is running on solar, and that was the ultimately what we needed to make sure we could do. So um, looking at this right here, it's actually only drawing like around 200 watts. Uh, it's not really, it's not taxing our system like at all. That's good to know. Well, I'd say it's a success. We can do laundry in the bus. Well, so far, because like, like I said, this thing hasn't gone into spin mode yet, so it could get pretty exciting back here. Oh, so yeah, I'm tempted right. just to sit here until that time. The scary time is upon us. We're draining. I hear no splashing, no dripping. And the water's coming down. Comes, should be, we should be coming up on our first spin, and that's going to be the exciting part of this, that's for sure. You can feel the whole bus is doing a little shimmy. So we're in big spin mode right now. And actually in this mode, I don't even feel it. No, neither. It's, it's just when it was first taking off. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I was expecting some kind of like horrible earthquake to occur in the bus, but it's not. And at that, we were only drawing, okay, 400 watts right now. For the spin. 400 watts on the spin right now. We've been standing here for 26 minutes watching the washing machine. Does this ever happen in a full-size house? No. It's nobody, never that exciting. Nobody does this, but in a bus, your washing machine suddenly becomes fantastically exciting. Yes. Especially running on solar power. Yeah, that is pretty cool. What's the drawing right now? I don't, oh, I don't have my glasses. Oh, okay. 600. It is going up 100 watts. Oh. So it is at its, probably at its highest right now. So definitely not something you'd want to do at night. But during the day, totally fine because we're drawing tons of power. So this is pretty much just running directly off of solar power right now. Like it's 100% running off the sun. So now we're just waiting for it to quit. One minute. There we go. Water just dropping dramatically. Now we're going into a solid charging phase, which shouldn't last very long because we barely used any power off of the batteries. And we're still drawing 300 because it's uh, putting back. And that's it. It shut itself off and our stuff is spun. Cool. This particular washer we thought about when several months ago when our, or maybe a couple years ago, when our washer went dead and we're like, we need to get a new washer machine, but let's get something we could put in the bus. And so we thought about, we looked at different models, but we wanted something that would spin our clothes so much that they didn't take very long to dry. So these two towels right here, fresh out of the washing machine are, are pretty lightweight because it spins the water right out of them. So, cool. So, put these down right here. What kind of rubber is that? This is like, uh, this is actually recycled rubber. They sell it in sheets at, at uh, Ace Hardware. It's just tough. Well, by purpose. Yeah, something that's probably will last a thousand years. But, you turn on that light? Better. But we're going to use it to create friction between what we're doing, what we're adding here, and a little protection for the for the uh, washing machine as well. Uh oh. What? It's not going in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. It's in. So it does. This does a couple things. I wouldn't put my life and say this is going to hold this in place. That's not its purpose. It's to keep it from shimmying. So what's going to happen here is when I put the 
pocket hole screws in, and I've heard you guys heard me, I know you guys have heard me talk about this before. The pocket hole screws, when you put them in right at the last second, if you were butting two edges together like this, if you didn't clamp it, at the last second, the screw going in like this would cause this to jog just slightly, like this, like a sixteenth of an inch. It's not even like that, it's, it's less than a third, it's like a thirty second. It just goes uh, down a little bit. Why that works in our favor here, because I'm putting in like this in here, at the last second it's going to pull down and squeeze the rubber underneath. Then when I do this side, I'll push down on it and that will basically capture the washing machine in place. So that'll keep this thing from walking out as we're driving. It'll just hold it enough it doesn't move. Don't try this at home, boys and girls. Okay. Talk to your parents before building a bus. <laughs> go. So, i hold that for a sec. Mm -hmm. Can't budge it? I can't even budge it. Good. So, it's not going anywhere. Very nice. It looks great. I wish I could get far enough back to see the whole thing in the camera. I just, I can't get that far back. <laughs> It's cool because we keep our dishwashing liquid and towels and weird stuff up there. That's um, laundry detergent, baby. That's what I meant. <laughs> we can throw our dishes in there if we want to. Right? It's all Tupperware. Right. Just kidding. I think it's about time we finished the laundry drawer front. You're crazy. Are you all with me? Hit like if you think Mike should let me finish the laundry drawer now. No. Nope. I mean, if Mike should finish the it's laundry drawer. It's already done. Whatever.